And welcome back, this is Baller Scoopa with another StarCraft 2 commentary. Uh, I am the Red Terran in the northeast up against the Hi-Fi, the blue Protoss in the southwest. The map is Blistering Sands. Um, I might be a little crabby today because I just played a couple 2v2s where both times uh, both players decided to harass me the entire game. I'm a little annoyed uh, looking back over uh, the replay though. Uh, there was a lot more that I could have done. It's always important to look over uh, replays so that you can learn from your mistake. Um, not saying whether or not this game is a mistake yet. I want to keep that a little bit of a secret. I am sending a probe, or uh, SCV, the same time as he's sending a probe out to check me out. Uh, so we will be seeing uh, some scouting done early in this game. Always important, especially against a pro toss and especially against a uh, Terran. Yeah, it's just important all the time. You can pretty much assume that Zerg is going to be sending out Zerglings out early. But the rest cannot be assumed for uh, Protoss or uh, Terran. Got a probe just kind of moving around, not really doing much. Oh, not deciding what to build. Yeah, uh, gateway. Then we're firing. There we go. And then a file. Uh, sorry, it's an assimilator for Protoss. I always forget that. Uh, meanwhile, I am getting my second refinery. Uh, I do have uh, my second barracks going down, a reactor going on my first barracks. Meanwhile, uh, the Hi-Fi is amassing uh, zealots. Uh, looks like we'll be seeing an early zealot push here. I'm not sure if I expected that, but I am getting quite a few uh, marines out early. Didn't complete the uh, block off yet, and there you see the rally point for his zealots. He does know that that will be inside of my bunker, so it's a bad rally point. You probably did it on the minimap. You don't really want to do that if you don't have to, unless you're very confident about where you're clicking. Pylon going down over the destructible rocks. He wants to make sure I don't go in through the back door. Uh, no chrono boost from his nexus. Uh, there you see he moves up and oh, I was ready and he runs away. I am not checking my destructible rocks though, so he goes around to the back and starts taking those out. Uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, his nexus still no chrono boost out of it the entire game if I remember right. Uh, a lot of protests will forget that later in the game. Uh, that they do have it, they just use it in the early game. You gotta keep track of that the entire time. Just like the energy on the orbital command. And looks like I've supply locked myself. So I'm gonna build a supply depot. I'm not in the right spot though. Oh, those zealots, they finally did take out the rocks, but if they had pushed in, I have nothing there to counter. Uh, but now I put in a supply depot and they run off. N not sure why. Uh, when I saw that the rocks were down, I did move my army over. Um, that guy went the long way, and the dangerous way. As the Hi-Fi sends in an observer. Uh, that's one thing about Protoss, they love their observers, and I don't blame them. Uh, meanwhile, my SCV that's pro that scouted earlier is just going to hang out at this Zelnaga Tower for the rest of the game. Uh, I do put out a bunker to complete off the block off on my ramp. Uh, meanwhile, the observer is in a very strange part. I, I, I think he just wants to see what's going on with the starport. Um, he should already know. Um, there goes a reactor. Oh, and there. No, he wants to take a closer look, maybe? Uh, no, gonna check out my army. Not much of an army over here. Uh, I still have the rally point set over here. And he's starting to get stalkers. Uh, no warp gates yet. Uh, nothing being researched as a seven x four. Uh, but we do have a warp prism out. And fully loaded with uh, three zealots and a stalker. Uh, those four uh, zealots from earlier are hanging out at the other Zelnaga Tower. Observer seen um, that I will be producing uh, medevacs. I do believe that is within his field of range. Uh, as soon as I put a missile turret about though, it takes out that observer. Missile turrets are great against Protoss, but they are so hard to build all the way around the base. Uh, that's why I didn't see this, and there they come in. 
Uh, and he's warping more in, so we are going to be seeing a prison. Uh, I don't know if I'd call it a rush of some timing attack. It's his second uh, little rush here. That solid does get in and takes out two, three, four SCVs. Four, I, oh, it looks like, yeah, just four SCVs finally able to take him out. Warp prism going around again. Uh, gonna try to warp in more, um, as if I didn't see him with the supply depot. Not sure what that was about there. Uh, that didn't stand a chance. Uh, but we are seeing Void Rays out for uh, the Hi Fi. I, uh, and he, we did finally uh, change it to Warp Gates. Uh, robotics Facility sending out just one Immortal. That's all it's really needed, just one. Should take out everything, of course. Uh, my expansion just now uh, started to go down. His is up and. Um, about halfway up, I would say, uh, in terms of saturation on what he would want to do. Um, but mostly Void Rays coming in a Stargate in a very well-placed Stargate. I would not scan this. Um, I would normally scan maybe here or here, uh, but I wouldn't scan down here. So that's a good placement, a good way to hide your tech uh, so that I wouldn't see Void Rays coming out. Uh, these Zealots uh, will not be joining this army here. It's no Zealot army in this one. It's uh, one Immortal, a uh, few uh, Stalkers, and a couple uh, Void Rays. Looking at his army, it looks like 16 Stalkers. Um, but I actually can see this with the Zelnaga Lodge Tower here. This SCV, it can't see all of them. Oh, but he did move the Zealots out from the Zelnaga Tower. I can see about to here. I don't see these Void Rays, uh, but then I assume that this is his entire army and that the rest of it's back here, but it's actually up here. Um, but I have two sets of uh, two groups here. Uh, one here, I believe I hockeyed that to two eventually and this one to one. Uh, so I will be uh, doing a flank. This is the first time that I've seen, uh, that we've seen uh, a flank in this game and it's just so effective uh, to get us around um, on the army. Even if you're not Zerg, uh, you need the surround uh, to give yourself as much advantage as you can. He is getting another observer, gonna get Zealot Charge. Uh, doesn't look like he's uh, Oh, we do see a sentry, and a little bit more of an army here. Uh, meanwhile, I'm just amassing the army as much as I can. Uh, mostly marauders, because I do not see the void rays here. And they're going in for reinforcements, just the one sentry. Um, he's going to have a proxy pile on here uh, to get the reinforcement in, reinforcements in as soon as possible. Uh, my army is 1-1, one, one. Uh, stim pack, concussive shells, and no combat shield. Uh, strange for me, I must have just uh, missed it there. No oh, and here we do see the engagement. Let me slow it down for you guys. Uh, so it's rushing in. Um, Void Rain's a little late as well as the Immortal. Uh, Medivac's a little bad hotkeys on those, and more. that Medivac will go down. Um, but my mass marauder down here is well enough to take them out. And there goes the Void Rays and the rest of the army. Uh, we do see a few uh, reinforcements warped in, um, but I do see them, so I instantly go down. And I assume this is his new rally place, so I assume that he has no army in his base. And it looks like I am right at that point. All we see is an observer. Uh, thank you to this SCV on this watchtower. And I see that sneaky expansion. You're not going to get away with that. I immediately move in uh, to try to put the X on that. Uh, I am tired of chasing down uh, random expansions when the game's already well won. Uh, so I take that out first before I go into his base. Um, do I go for the backdoor entrance? No, I assume that I can do it well at the front. Uh, and all he was able to get was a sentry and three stalkers. So a quick uh, counterattack uh, after a flank always works well. Once again, I'm losing track of my medevacs. Um, it's really, I, I would love uh, for a follow command, especially on the, um, on the medevacs. Uh, because if I right click on uh, another uh, on a ground unit, it will just try to load it if possible, um, as opposed to another ground unit. 
uh, going against another gunny, it will follow. Uh, the medevacs can't follow, so it's a little hard to micro. And that's the end of the game. Uh, not a, a little different strategies here. Um, I still have an army here. That's my uh, backup army. I did switch the rally point, so not all in on my part, but good enough for the victory. Uh, he was able to warp in a few more, but uh, the damage had been done. He did get the Twilight Council up too late. Um, Psy Storm <laughs> just murders this kind of army. Uh, so I hope you liked it. Uh, a few new um, strategies in this game uh, that worked well for me. You know, uh, splitting the army, uh, keeping a guy on the watchtower, early scouting, uh, although it didn't tell me exactly what was going on and a barracks uh, bunker uh, block off that I ended up uh, scrapping later on. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the game. See you guys next time.